Hey guys, Jonathan Selinski with Distinguished Tactical. Today we're going to be going over a standing boat simulator. The position for this stage was on the boat simulator shooting off of one of the support posts. The only thing that was allowed to touch the post was either the rifle or the bag. We couldn't brace up against it or push the boat simulator up against the post for more stability. There's essentially two ways that you could go about it. You could either go with a high kneeling position or you could go with a standing. I decided to go with a standing position because I'm comfortable with my standing and I was able to get a nice wide base with my feet that didn't translate as much of my movements to the boat simulator. A lot of people had some success with a high kneeling position if they used a bag or if they were tall enough to get into a proper reverse kneeling. The big catch for this stage are the green targets that you see. Those are hostage targets. At any point during the stage, if you shoot a hostage, you are done with the stage and you get a zero for the score. This meant that you had to slow down and make sure that you properly applied the fundamentals. Without doing that, chances are you could have jerked one of the shots low or just missed the shot just enough to clip one of the hostage targets, rating you a zero for the stage. One of the ways that I mitigated the risk of this happening was applying interrupted trigger control. Essentially, all that means is that when my crosshair is on the target that I'm intending to shoot, I'm going to slowly apply pressure. If at any point my crosshair comes off of that target, I'm going to cease applying pressure. I'm not going to take my finger off the trigger, I'm just going to stop applying pressure. Then once I'm back on, I apply a little bit more pressure until the shot breaks. I'm not trying to time my shots and jerk them in to get a center hit. You also have to understand that because of these positions, you're not going to break a perfect shot. You have to figure out what your acceptable wobble is for that position. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, like, follow, and subscribe on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.